Hello there guys, welcome to this video. Um, just out today doing uh, another video as it happens, <laughs> as you saw going on in the background with the campfire. And I thought I'd cook myself some lunch while I'm here. Uh, to do that I thought I'd use the Tranger kit that you saw me use in the last couple of videos. Um, yeah, and I've uh, kind of pimped it a little bit so we'll go into it. That's just the uh, the fuel. And I've got the uh, the bag for the 27 series Tranger now as well. I thought why not? Got the whole kit. So that's just some spices for later. This is a new cutlery kit that I got. Nothing special. And there's the stove. So on the top there you can see I've got a mini spatula, not one I've carved. Just one to come with uh, another stove thing. And if I undo it. your frying pan, it's your cutting board and strainer. Now I've included one of these long tipped lighters so I can uh, light the stove easily. There's the, uh, the pot grabber or handle, whatever you want to call it, and to stop that rattling that's all in this microfiber towel which also has inside kettle. And in the kettle, in a plastic bag in case there's leakages, there's a bit of paper towel around it as well. We've got the stove itself. In there are the two bowls and of course Of the whole system here. So that's quite a nice little setup. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll um, give it a few goes. I want this to be a kit I can grab and go without really worrying about anything. Um, if you've got any ideas of things to add to it that I may need, I may add a tiny ferrocerium rod for if the uh, light is not working but I've always got a spare on me anyway but uh, yeah quite a nice little system but um, yeah I want to improve it and tweak it and get it exactly how I want it but I guess with use I'll know exactly what to do so I'm just going to get a cup of tea on first and then we'll cook the main event Just using clear bioethanol here today. Nice clean burn. You can get it at DIY stores, usually for like them outdoor garden lamps and things. There's that handy lighter. Uh, you may not be able to see that, but it is lit. I can just about see the blue glow. I'm just going to enjoy this cuppa and then we'll get on with the steak. Okay, so I've got a little bit of food prep here. In my cutlery case, as well as a tissue, I've actually got my small open all. So there's another thing kind of crammed in there, a little camp kitchen knife. So first off, I'll just cut up this into some cubes. Put 
them in the frying pan for now. You can hear the cuckoo going off in the background. Antwerp. Just a few bits of onion. I'll do another slice just in case. Don't know how much room we'll have in the pan. And finally, you saw me collect some uh, wild garlic down by the stream. So I'm just going to cut that up, stems and all. Right, this is cool now, never refill it when it's hot. So I'm just going to fill that up for cooking. Get it lit. And put the windshield on. With these out for the frying pan. I thought I was filming then and I wasn't. I've just put some oil and some butter in the pan there. It's my own butter, which I've made out here in the woods today. And if you want to see me do that, watch my bread making video, which will probably be the one before this. I've just shimmed this stove up. We're pretty flat here now. Here I go with a handful of potatoes. I don't want too many in there because I don't want to crowd this pan too much. I suppose I should try out my mini spatula. Yeah, just a few potatoes, a few onions, I've got some asparagus tips as well, which I forgot to mention, and the steak itself. Right, I think I'm going to have to go on with the simmering here. I've got a leather glove to, to do that. Don't want them to cook too quickly. Oh, lost one. Yeah, they were cooking too quickly. I think I'll uh, throw in some of that onion now as well. Okay, if I move these to one side, our main event is a piece of sirloin. Beautiful. And I nearly forgot I was going to add a little bit of this mixed spice. I'm not saying I usually do to a steak, but I saw it on my way out the house and I thought, why not? It's just paprika, chipotle, garlic powder, salt, pepper. I think that's about it. Maybe some cumin left over from one of the other cooks. Now, I've not got much of a sizzle going on there, so I might have to take the simmering off for this bit. Definitely worth having a leather glove. I'm just going to try and give that a flip. Beautiful. And now's the tricky part. I'm trying to fit the asparagus in too. It'll be adventurous to try one more. Before I forget, I've got that uh, wild garlic, the ransoms. So I'll just sprinkle some of that in, just to add some flavour and reduce down. Nearly put some nettles in as well, but I thought I'd be <laughs> overcrowding the pan just a bit. I've got the simmering back on for a minute, I might just give it a last sear shortly. Right, 
and I think we are done. So we've got our steak, our asparagus, and our potatoes, onions, and wild garlic. And a little bit of juice to go on that steak just while it rests for a moment. Right, I suppose I should use my new knife fork spoon set. Wrap them in this so they don't jingle around. I'll link them if I can find them. I think they're eBay. Might be on Amazon. Yeah, I think it's Amazon actually. Might be just a child set. <laughs> but I think they do one with chopsticks as well. Right, let's try it. Potatoes perfectly cooked. Asparagus, hopefully it's got that snap to it still, just a little bit. So it should be about perfect. Yeah, still got a bit of bite to it. You don't want floppy asparagus. And the main event, the sirloin. Yeah, still pink in the middle. There we go. Perfect for me. Good medium. I'm usually more of a ribeye man myself, but I saw this, it was a good price. It looked like a nice piece of steak. Yeah, it's perfect. Forgot to garnish it with the ransom flour. <laughs> melt in your mouth steak. What better place to enjoy it. First proper thing I've eaten all day as well. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon now. In all seriousness though, I'd like to thank all of you for the support that you've given me during, you know, these times. <laughs> all the Patreons, everyone who's been watching, commenting, everything. It's really appreciated and it's helped a lot. Um, it's been a hard time. Hopefully we're coming out the uh, the other end of it now. And uh, thanks for sticking with me during some probably videos not up to scratch. Like I said in the rock cooking video here, this area here is where I'm going to uh, build my first shelter in this woodland. And I'm probably going to start doing that very soon. So uh, we'll be back to uh, business as usual soon. I put some water in the pan straight afterwards while it was still warm. And I'm just going to use this spatula. There we go, that's pretty much all of it off already. So it's just going to need a bit of a wipe. I don't need to use my microfiber towel. I'm gonna have to wash it when I get home. I can use this. That's gonna be more for multi-day trips. So I can give this a proper wash when I get home. Look at that. The stove is now cool, so I can put the lid on without worrying about melting the O-ring. Get that nice and tight, because there's still some fuel in it. Have a go putting this back together the way I'm going to be using it. Microfiber towel in the pot. Kettle in that. Pot lifter. And the lighter, just got to get them arranged well enough to fold them down. Chopping bowl, pan, our strap. Spatula. 
our cutlery and knife. And that all goes in the official Trangia bag. Along with the fuel. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. It's uh, good to see what you can do in one of these little kits. Uh, like I said earlier, if you've got any suggestions for little things to put in there and that, I will put a little kind of sponge with um, abrasive side on in there. Maybe a tiny little e-liquid sized um, washing up liquid. But um, yeah, if you've got some other ideas, how to improve it as a good grab and go cook kit, let us know. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for your support. See you soon. Stay safe. Mm -hmm.